you will only reverse the symptom, but the cause is still fixed. So the aim of this channel is to open up your eyes to all these conditions that happen in your system when you eat those irresponsible foods, those, those bad diets. So if you fix the diet, you're fixing everything. And that's the reason why I'm telling you, as a solution to all this, first things first, drop sugar in all forms, be it more than fruits, be it fruits are meant to be seasonal so that you eat one fruit today and then eat it next year when they are in season. But nowadays, there's fruit, there's a mango everywhere. There is a watermelon everywhere. It looks so fresh, so sweet, high much, uh, too much sugar, no seeds. Okay, it doesn't even attract flies. Why are you buying them? See, fruits are supposed to be seasonal, so let modern fruits go. Let that uh, uh, honey that you're being sold to, let it go. Avoid those processed drinks, those energy drinks. They do not have energy in them. What they have is fructose and glucose. And these are supposed to give you a feel-good hormone so that you think you have energy. No, you're just feeling good. Your body rewards you to feel good. Then once it does that, you get energized. There is no energy in energy drinks. There's no uh, those uh, nutrients in soda. Avoid soda by all means. All carbonated drinks, avoid them. Apart from a carbonated water. Avoid all others. They are processed. Avoid those fruit juices. Okay, Those companies will lie to you that they have vitamin C and they, have, uh, they boost your energy. But they don't tell you how. Because there's nothing in them. It has been proven several times. But you fail to understand because they do this marketing. When you, you, when you get attached to your television and the social media, you will see all these things being advertised. And nobody tells you this, the, the, uh, the effects that will come seven years down the line. When you get into insulin resistance, it takes you almost seven to ten years before you get into diabetes. So you're taking your blood sugar levels, they're normal. But you're still diabetic or pre-diabetic. So take cautions. Avoid those wheat products. Avoid those seed oils. Those processed cereals that you give to your children. Those sweets and confectionaries. Baked food from wheat. Those pasta. Those processed foods that... You always take a little time to prepare. So they are saving your time to prepare, but they are not saving your life because they are causing your fatty liver and insulin resistance. So every cause, hypertension, the five that I already told you, that classified as metabolic syndrome, hypertension, obesity, high triglycerides, low HDL, and also high LDL, insulin resistance, all these hail from one thing, a high amount of insulin, in the system, which is hyperinsulinemia, which is coming from consumption of simple carbohydrates and processed foods. And then also it's coming from fructose, which is basically the fruit and uh, honey sugar. So if you block this, if you block consumption of fructose and you block consumption of carbohydrates, then definitely your insulin will go back to normal. And this can happen through fasting. Okay. So once you fast, then your insulin levels in blood go back to normal. Then you'll start burning fat. Once you burn fat, you recover from obesity. Okay, now again, if this goes down, you will your kidneys will start to recover. You will now start uh, excreting water and sodium, so you'll not have edema, and therefore blood pressure will be regulated. So your hypertension disappears. Then your high TGs will disappear. Why? Because the liver is cutting them down. Okay, so you'll not have this in your bloodstream because you're losing that central obesity and burning these uh, fats into energy. So you lose H this uh, triglycerides. You will increase your levels of HDL because once triglycerides go down, your HDL goes up. That is the best cholesterol level that you, you require. And then finally, you will recover from insulin resistance. Okay, So that means your, your cells will be sensitive to insulin. And therefore, any glucose that is in your bloodstream will find an easy way being pumped into, blood, uh, into fat cells to be stored. Okay? And there, so if you lower insulin, you're basically telling your cells to start burning fat. You're also telling your cells that now shift your energy mechanisms or your energy machinery from breaking down carbohydrates or food into breaking down fat that is stored in fat cells. That is what we need. So this is the metabolic syndrome and this is how to understand it. Now you know that, do the right thing.